Hello! Hi! This is Akira San Sushi at the home. Today, we have Katsuo Bonito, aka Skipjack. We are going to break this down into sashimi fire and make Katsuo no warayaki. Deden! Part 1 of this episode will show you how to break down Bonito into a sashimi sized block. Step 1 Scrape off scales. Unlike many fishes, Bonito only have scales on certain parts of body. This purple colored section that Akira-san is pointing out is where scales are. In other words, there are no scales on where stripe pattern lies, like here. There are also scales around ventral fin as well. You can see this thin line that divides two sections. Follow this when trying to find those scales. Like horse mackerel, they are thin zagal skewed. It's like a scale except it's long and spiky. Let's get rid of this first. Insert your knife from tip of the fin and move your knife in a sawing motion. Once that's done, let's start scraping scales. Use your knife and slice off the skin very thinly. For scales around the pectoral fin, you can keep it attached like this. No need to cut it off at this point. Okay, that's about it! Yeah! Turn it around and do the same on the other side. In Japan, Bonito is called Katsuo, but it changes its name twice depending on which season it was caught. Hatsugatsuo, in English, first Bonito in season, is caught between April to early summer in Pacific Ocean side of Japan. Bonito then moves up to north in search for food and stay there during the summer. After their summer holiday, Bonito with a full belly is ready for spawning, so they start swimming to go back south to spawn in a warm environment. We catch them in autumn, and this is called Modori Gatsuo, returning Bonito. Hatsugatsuo has a simple lean meat with light flavor and it's suitable for tataki, seared bonito. Modori gatsuo, in contrast, is fatty with rich texture, perfect to be served as sashimi with spices. If you have a favorite between the two, let us know in the comment section. Now let's go back to the kitchen. Lift up bonito so that belly is facing up and slice scale underneath the pelvis fin. Yeah. Then, while remaining the scale attached, enter knife diagonally to bonito and make a cut. About this much. Now we are ready to cut off the head. We will cut it by moving knife in hemisphere form. Lift up the pectoral fin and insert your knife from the base of the fin. Slide it upwards, then bring it all the way to the bottom, up until here. Now hold the head firmly, use the heel of your knife and break the backbone. You can hear a click like this. Turn it over and do the same for the other side. Imagine a V shape when cutting the head. It might be faster chopping off head straight, but as there are lots of meat around the head, that will simply be a waste. Now insert the tip of your knife from where anal fin begins and slice open the belly. Make sure to grip the tail when doing this. All you need to do now is to grab the head and pull it off. Cut off the guts, then voila! Pretty simple, right? Now get rid of all guts that's left over and make a slit along the backbone. This slice is called chiai bojo. It makes it easier to wash away the blood clots. Ah, this white thing is tentacularia. It's said that they are no harm to human body, but if you find it, just pick it and throw it away. Rinse well under the sink. Now place your knife here and make a cut along dorsal fin all the way up till the end. And make another slit from the right side as well. This is a unique step that you can see in Bonito filleting. By slicing off the dorsal fin first, it makes the latter process much easier. Hold your Bonito like this, grip the tail firmly, then cut off the fin. Now we will break down Bonito by some my Oroshi method. Let's start from the upper half of the body. Insert your knife from where the fin used to be and slide it above nakabone, the middle bone. You need to go deeply until you hear the click, like this. This is the sound of knife hitting the backbone. Then turn it around 
and insert the knife from where the tail begins. Bonito is one of the most difficult fish to fillet as its bone and meat are soft. So rather than concentrating 100% on filleting perfectly, focus more on handling fish with speed and care. Now insert knife, move it up until the very end of the body, then turn around the knife, hold the fin and use your whole strength to cut through the flesh at once. Cut off the fillet from here. We now have divided Bonito into two pieces. All we got to do now is to debone this part of the body. Skin side up, insert knife right above Benito's inner fin and slice off nakabone by moving a knife towards the tail. Flip it around and slice off nakabone from this side as well. When moving knife beneath nakabone, tilt the blade up slightly in a way as if you're lifting up the bone. Do the same as other side to detach meat from its bone. Bonita is big and so is its bone, therefore so you might need to put a bit of oomph in there. There you go, some my Oroshi finished. Bone has been removed perfectly. Now let's separate this big piece of meat into back and belly. And then let's get rid of harabone, the belly bone that protects Bonito's guts. Usumaku is a thin membrane that covers Bonito's guts. Make sure to slice this off as it is too stiff to chew. Lastly, slice off chiai bone. It's the bloody area that lies along the spine. Let's get rid of this as it causes fishiness. Phew, that was one hell of a fish, but we now have a four beautiful sashimi block of bonito. Our next episode will feature how to turn this bonito into an amazing marayaki seared sashimi dish. So stay tuned, guys! Thank, Thank you and arigato. arigato! See you in the next video!